Great way to shave some starchy ones out of your diet. Maybe try getting crazy for cauliflower. Melanie's joining us now. Mel, cauliflower really can be used as a substitute for other kind of more unhealthy foods, let's say. All right, so you have to use your imagination if you've never heard of this, but this is an amazing vegetable. It can be turned into dough, a rice-like texture, or mash to be smooth and creamy just like mashed potatoes. All this for far less calories and carbs than the originals. Hallie Todd is a lot more careful about her diet today than just last year. So I went to graduate school, and during my time in graduate school, it was really stressful, and I gained some weight. Then we're going to mash it. No, Hallie's not dropping those 20 graduate school pounds with mashed potatoes. She and a lot of carb counters are getting crazy for cauliflower. About a cup of cauliflower that's cooked is going to be around 25 calories, where a cup of potatoes, which are far more dense, is going to be around 200 calories. Mashed, raw, or roasted, cauliflower is low in calories and packed with vitamin C. And a medium-sized head of cauliflower, which can serve several people, has fewer carbs than a single potato. I love cauliflower. <laughs> I actually eat it a lot. Um, sometimes for, like, lunch, I'll just take cauliflower and hummus. One problem with cauliflower, at least this year, bad weather damaged the season's crop, driving prices up considerably. It's a great way to... Have your potatoes and eat them too. Nutritionist and dietitian Lori Brizzy urges her clients to add cauliflower and other vegetables to potatoes as a low calorie way to fortify their meals and serving sizes. We know that compounds in cruciferous vegetables actually help prevent cancer and heart disease. Hallie's a believer. Cauliflower is partly responsible for her successful postgraduate school weight loss. So here are a few websites that actually feature cauliflower recipes. Chef Rachel Ray, look at that, guys. That is a cauliflower pizza dough recipe. Looks pretty good. It takes a pound of cauliflower florets and two eggs. And also went on minimalistbaker.com, and they tell us how to make cauliflower rice. A lot of people swear by this. All you need is cauliflower and a grater, or you can do it in a food processor. You just saute it. You can cover it to make it a little more tender. And apparently, I haven't tried it yet, but it's delicious. So I added these links to newsforjax.com on this story if you want to try out any of those recipes.